we're just going to do a loving kindness practice. So we will use some of the additional uh, wishes and move through a number of people before, before extending it out to those that we know. You just come in to sit comfortably, maybe with a nice alert posture. And just getting back in contact with the breath and the body on the chair, feet on the floor, on our previous practice. And just inviting the breath in, letting it go. Allowing the breath to bring us to the present, allowing our bodies to anchor us to the ground. And just setting an intention to do this loving kindness practice. Think about our motivation, how it maybe can bring benefits to us, but how it can benefit those around us as well. So we sit here in touch with our breath. Just bring to mind a loved one. It could be a person, it could be a pet. Maybe someone you've got an uncomplicated relationship with. Maybe picturing them, imagining them, or maybe just sensing them. Sometimes we're not good at being able to imagine or picture, but just sensing them. But maybe seeing them as they are, or maybe as a child. Sometimes it can help just picturing someone as a young child. They may be in front of you, or you might be touching them. And those we say the words, you can use you or using their name. May you be happy. May you be well. May you be at peace. May you be free from harm. May you be happy. May you be well. May you be at peace. May you be free from harm. May you be happy. May you be well. May you be at peace. May you be free from harm. And then maybe imagining, sensing, pitching this loved one in the bubble of loving kindness and just bringing yourself within that bubble just picturing yourself as you are as a child maybe in contact with this person possibly bring your hands onto your heart and giving some loving kindness wishes for yourself and just accepting what other feelings come up sometimes some difficult feelings or thoughts arise but just letting them be knowing experiences as it is May I be happy. May I be well. May I be at peace. May I be free from harm. May I be happy. May I be well. May I be at peace. May I be free from harm. May I be happy. May I be well. May I be at peace. May I be free from harm. And then just dropping your hands down if you want, so you can keep them on your heart. And bring to mind a friend. And again, picturing them as they are, or as a child, or sensing them. And you may want to bring them into this bubble of loving kindness with you and the, your loved one. May you be happy. May you be well. May you be at peace. May you be free from harm. May you be happy. May you be well. May you be at peace. May you be free from harm. May you be happy. May you be well. May you be at peace. May you be free from harm.
And then maybe just bring to mind a neutral person. So it could be someone you don't even know the name that you often see in the shop or on the street or in the work environment. And again, you might want to just bring them in this bubble, seeing as they're now or how they might have been as a child. May you be happy. May you be well. May you be at peace. May you be free from harm. May you be happy. May you be well. May you be at peace. May you be free from harm. May you be happy. May you be well. May you be at peace. May you be free from harm. And then we're just going to expand out the circle of loving kindness. So maybe we could just bring to mind this group that's sitting here at the moment. We could bring in your household, or just a few people living locally or within your family. May we be happy. May we be well. May we be at peace. May we be free from harm. May we be happy. May we be well. May we be at peace. May we be free from harm. May we be happy. May we be well. May we be at peace. May we be free from harm. And then maybe we just could widen the circle a bit further, or just keeping as it is. If maybe difficult feelings come up, maybe no feelings at all, that's okay. Just being with what's there, just accepting things as they are in this moment, knowing that sometimes these feelings don't come, or that we might have feelings of anger or difficulty with some people within the circle. That's okay. So just widening it or staying as it is, or even just bringing it, reducing it down to your loved one. Maybe you could have the people of Jersey, people in the street. May we be happy. May we be well. May we be at peace. May we be free from harm. May we be happy. May we be well. May we be at peace. May we be free from harm. May we be happy. May we be well. May we be at peace. May we be free from harm. And then just either staying with this group or loved one or a smaller group or just expanding it out just as far as it's comfortable and potentially maybe to the whole world maybe to all humans or it might be to all beings that it feels right and comfortable for you at this moment in time maybe putting the hand on the heart again may we all be happy May we all be well. May we all be at peace. May we all be free from harm. May we all be happy. May we all be well. May we all be peace. May we all be free from harm. May we all be happy. May we all be well. May we all be at peace. May we all be free from harm. And then if you pictured or sensed everyone within some form of bubble, maybe it's absorbing that loving kindness. Having a sense as you breathe in, bringing in the loving kindness for yourself and breathing out the loving kindness to those around.
who's sitting here breathing in that sense of loving kindness and breathing out the loving kindness to others. Just accepting what other thoughts or emotions, feelings come up, just how they are at this moment. And then just letting go of any images or sensing, visualization. Just going back to the breath, going back to the body on the chair, feet on the floor, that sense of here and now. Thank you.